Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. I'm the drunk Pukaroo. Wario's down here somewhere. It's beer time. Woo! So I'm going to work till later tomorrow, so it's, you know what that means. Yeah, wobbly pops. This is my second box of the Van Steenberg Belgian Mix 6. My second one this year. So I went to the liquor store the other day. Went to the LCBO the other day. I'm um, looking to see if a two-pad was there yet, and it wasn't. I'm like, well, I'm not walking in here empty-handed. Do you always feel, like, weird if you leave a store and you didn't buy anything, and you're like, I'm not stealing anything. I just didn't find what I wanted, right? Because you just feel weird. It's awkward. But I didn't, so I'm like, I'm going to buy this. So, you know, we're going to talk about one of the beers that I haven't talked about for a couple years. Guldan Drak 9000 Quadrupel. Quad? Quadruple? Quadrupel. I love all the beers in this thing. Because they're just like 7%, 8%, 9%, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5. Sometimes it's all about that ABV. I love this beer. First had Gul'dan Drac in a pub in Quebec City with my friend the Celtic Devil. It was way back in the early days of Instagram Beer Guy 2016. <sighs> smells like I'm going to go work till 2 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. It means I can sleep till 1. Cheers. Belgian candy sugar, man. Belgian maltiness. Sweet, dark fruits. Spices. Absolutely gorgeous. Like, absolutely clove, pepper. Um, mm, God damn it. This is like candy to me. This pack is sweet ambrosia. Like, I love my West Coast IPAs. You guys know that. I went so far as to tell, brew a double West Coast IPA. And unleash it upon the world. I'm going to keep talking about it because it's like the greatest thing I've ever known. Um, this is, this is my Roman Empire. Like, if you want to ask a question, you know, there was that thing on the TikToks where women were asking their husbands and boyfriends, how often you think of the Roman Empire? Ask me how many times a week I think it's a Van Steenberg pack, and it's more than five. And that's all year round. I was thinking about it, I'm like, man, I wish I would have bought like ten of those packs and hid some somewhere so I could have some in the summer. I always forget. Like, I don't remember. But honestly, this is my Roman Empire. This this permeates my thoughts more than you would you would think. This is my favorite pack. And I know the St. Bernardus one is amazing, too. And I don't take anything away from that. I don't. But there is a special place in folklore with this particular pack. Because it is part of a, a set of beers that changed everything. Everything. And I love it, man. I get a little more emotional about it. These are great beers. Are they the best representations of the style? Not 100%. They're just big-ass beers. They taste amazing. Don't get me wrong. They taste amazing, that kind of dark fruit. Is. It's a little cold. I should have taken it out a little sooner. I like it a little bit little bit warmer, a little more closer to room temperature. Um, but absolutely gorgeous. And just, it, they're beautiful. They're beautifully put together, so I love them. All right? All right, got to go have some dinner because, you know, I want to be able to stay up past 8 o'clock tonight because I'll sleep in a little bit tomorrow, but... Uh, Get yourself one before I buy them all. I'm going to buy extra this year. I'm making that promise to myself. And I'm going to buy extra this year and put some away so that in the heat of July, I can pull this out and have, like, the best night in the grotto ever. Cheers. It's warming Belgian happiness.